Are you interested in a profession that makes a difference? A career where you can actually see the results of your labor. Every day, social service workers help millions of people overcome some of life's biggest hurdles. I chose working in the social, social service field because I, I enjoy working with people. Um, I had a background in psychology from university, but uh, I kind of wanted to gear it more towards um, working with individuals all the time. So. Uh, getting in the social service program here at the college was the first step towards working with people. Just that one-on-one -on -one conversation, um, seeing what people need for support, um, and getting them where they need to go, or where they want to go, not where they need to go, where they want to go. I usually work 8.30 to 4.30, so pretty standard hours. Some days I work at night just to accommodate uh, when people need to come in, because a lot of people work, but my days are uh, I, I can have up to four appointments a day, so some of them will be assessment appointments where I'll see kind of what that person needs, while other appointments are more one-on-one -on -one support, so what do they need for that day. So I have some clients that I meet ongoing over, say, months. Most of the time I meet with people briefly, kind of get them to where they need and, and uh, get them to treatment facilities if they're, if they're interested in that. Social service work is a very broad field. The opportunities are endless. A graduate from Confederation College may expect employment with public welfare agencies at various levels of government, as well as with private agencies in the fields of child and family services, substance abuse, mental health, community development, domestic violence, and many others. Depending on the time of day that I work, I'll eat lunch with them or I'll eat supper with them, so we just kind of sit there, have casual conversation with them, and just, just relax with them and then later on we'll have a group, so any therapeutic group, so relapse prevention, recovery portfolio, or any little exercises that work towards their recovery. Okay, we get all types of crisis calls. We get clients, past clients, calling when they relapse, just needing guidance. And we also get uh, crisis calls from people in the community who are just you know, realize that they have this problem and they really want to get help, so they refer, we refer them to the right people at the time. The last crisis call I received was a woman who just found out that her daughter was doing drugs and possibly dealing, and she was, she was really anxious and she was really nervous and she didn't know what to do. All right. Yeah, just hang in there. We'll find you the help you'll need. So I helped her, calmed her down, and just we thought of ways how to approach the situation in a way that her daughter wouldn't uh, run away and set up a barrier between her and her mother. In social service work, you can often see the impact that you have on the lives of the clients you serve. Right before Christmas, I was working with this um, woman for about, say, two or three months. Uh, right before Christmas, her last appointment, I wasn't going to see her again, and uh, she brought me a Christmas card and said, thanks for everything you did for me, and, and honestly, that's what it's all about in the field. Anyone that goes through and they make it through, we get calls years later saying I'm still sober and it's all thanks to you guys. One of the most important ones is with the child welfare agencies. Um, some individuals will have children that, uh, that will um, need service with uh, different agencies as well and um, if that's the case and the individual is looking for support in, in any regard and child welfare is just one example we would point them in that, that direction so maybe it's children's aid, maybe it's the LECO. Um, we also, at Thunder Bay Counseling Center, for instance, we have um, other counseling available. So it's, it's called clinical counseling, but basically what that means is anything from depression, anxiety, um, marriage counseling, credit counseling. We have all that available at our agency. So my part, substance use, is just one section in our agency. Confederation College offers a large field placement element in a variety of agencies where students gain valuable experience with all population groups, from young children to senior citizens. Upon graduation, students are ready to work as a professional in the community. My placements were awesome. I got tons of skills out of what, uh, uh, what I was looking for to get into certain into this field, actually. And uh, I know they're a bit different, but Big Brother Big Sister was the first placement I did, which was uh, it was it was my first kind of th kind of introduction to the field. So um, that's where I learned my first uh, few skills in the field, and it was a little bit different than Three C's Introduction Center, which was my second placement. Um, and that was um, directly linked to what I do now, which is substance use counseling. So that placement was great and it got me a ton of information around uh, what actually is, uh, what the substance use field entails within the city. So I wasn't able to get a job uh, at either of those places, but they directly got me uh, into my employment. The university played a part as well in my skills, but this gave me the hands-on skills that were needed for the field. So 
especially the two placements, and I can speak to everyone in the faculty. It was great for me, including Bill and Rich. They were awesome. Um, can't speak uh, highly enough about them, so they gave all the skills that I need for the field.